Ja, ja, Okay. Yeah, you're gonna complain about the new kid? And, uh, yeah, you're at the beginning. You're just having a rough time, skinny kid. You're just a skinny kid, huh? So this guy landed in your yard yesterday. Uh, yeah, and I mean, my neighbor goes, you know you got a bird out there? And I, so I came out there, and I, of course I hobbled out there, and I go, well that's certainly not good if it's on the ground and it's not yeah. flying away from me, and then I could see that's, that's no red tail. Okay, we have a very pretty little young golden eagle that uh, has, again, like this time of the year, gets separated from mom and dad, uh, is having some problems feeding itself. It was uh, found in some people's backyard um, week, and, and the, the really good thing is the individual that actually found it was a falconer living um, here in southern Utah. And he basically was able to pick the eagle up, put it in one of his chambers, and, and then give me a call. And he put some food in for the eagle, which is actually the appropriate food, which is wonderful for a change. And the eagle has eaten. And so it's got a, a, a crop full of food. Let's see if I can grab the little kid here. Can I grab you without you grabbing me? Yep. I can. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Yeah, getting them out of the box is always the, the most dangerous part. But that's okay. Hi, sweetie. Now it's time to give you a bit of a physical. Let's see how you're doing. You got food, your crop right there, so that's really good. I'm proud of you, sweetheart. And so. Uh, Tell him what kind of food he fed him. Yeah, basically the same thing, the, some of the same kind of food that we have here. Uh, he, because he's a falconer, he has uh, Coternix quail, which is something that, uh, that we feed our birds as well. So the eagle got, a, got actually a good meal. Now it's time to see if you're in one piece. I think you are. I think you were just starving, sweetie, because you're, you're a little bit skinny. But let's see what we're looking at here. Yeah, let's see what we're looking at here. Let's start up here, the shoulder. Let's see how that, oh, that's nice and stable. That feels good. And the bone all the way down. And uh, the, that joint is good and stable too. Come on out, it, it extends properly. That's good and tight. Good. Missing some feathers? Missing a feather or two, but you know, that's not critical. So that's okay. Your feet are beautiful. They look just fine. There's no problems with that. And your legs are feeling good and strong. So let's see about the other wing. See where we're at here, sweetie. Okay. Okay, the joint feels good and tight. What a good boy. You know, the golden eagles are really nice. They've got a, a, a little better personality than the bald eagles do. And they're not as, as apt to bite you. I mean, they can still certainly bite you, and they have to kind of watch that. But um, not as bad as the bald eagles are. What a pretty, pretty baby. You really are. Okay. And again, especially in the summertime, we treat for lice. And so we, in fact, I, I'm excited because we did a box opening today, and we got a brand new fresh bottle of of. of bug spray here, parasite spray that we use for the birds. And this is this is what works the best for these guys because it only takes um, one treatment when we when they get the bird in and then a treatment usually about a week or so later and then the bird is good until we release it we give it another little treatment before we turn them loose. And so I think you're beautiful. I think you're you're gonna be a, an easy one. Yes, you are. You're going to be an easy one. There's not really a whole lot for us to do with you other than just uh, get you fattened back up and give you a second chance. That's all we have to do with you, sweetie. Fatten you back up, give you a second chance. Yeah, you're looking beautiful. Come on, baby. Yeah, I know it's scary. It is so scary to have to come to a place like this. But the good news is you're not going to be with us too long. She, um, she'll probably be with us about a month. And I'm going to introduce you to some new friends. 
We have uh, another golden eagle, very much in the same situation, out on the desert, separated from mom and dad, starving to death, horribly emaciated, but it was in a lot worse shape than this one is. And we have a bald eagle. It's again a young one that wasn't being cared for appropriately and has, and the bald eagle has a lot of feather damage. And you can see our eagles back, back here. We have uh, the golden eagles on the upper perch, the bald eagles on the lower perch, and the bald eagle can't fly because of so much feather damage. And the bald eagle is a unique color. We call that a white-bellied bald eagle because it's uh, usually their, their tummies are brown. But uh, this particular one's got a little genetics that gives him a little bit of a white belly. And, but as an adult, when he's an adult eagle, he'll have a white head, white tail, and a black body. So you can go join your friends. And uh, it looks good. Good eye. Yep. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, got some other eagles. Here you go, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna complain about the new kid? You be nice to her. I think they'll be fine. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's flying a little bit. You start going this way. Time to get my exercise. Looked like a juvenile. Okay. okay, got him here. Okay. Get in high gear. I can catch this guy. Pretty good chase. We got you, kid. We got you. Was this eagle skinny or? Skinny. Yeah. It's not also doesn't have good primary mold. Yeah, the college kid called me a couple of weeks ago. And I told him to call the division. He says it has a French mold. This is uh, Yeah, I mean, yeah. French mold is in the domestic birds where the feathers grow in all curly. And, and okay, so that was this bird? Because I don't remember it being, being that, in the, the farm. Yeah, okay. it was at the farm. That was this bird. I was okay. Because I never got a straight story. Of going, yeah. And then you're, then you're watching the bird. Who are you watching it for? I mean, what's going on? And one of your conservation officers called me. The next day, and he said there was a the report, and I said, well, we can go out and get it. And, uh, yeah, that's not an issue. And he said he wanted to go watch it and see if it's 